Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this session, we are going to download and install SQLite on Windows 11. Let's begin. First of all, open your favorite browser and go to the search bar and type download SQLite. Press enter and you will see some results. Go to the first one and you can see this official download page of the SQLite. Here you can see we have so many links. Just scroll down. We are looking for the pre-compiled binaries for Windows. Now you can see here we have this heading. Under this heading we have three different packages. The first one is Windows 3286.zip 32-bit DLL and SQLite version and the second one is Windows 64x 64-64-bit SQLite version and the third one is the SQLite tools WinZip x86 you can see the description a bundle of the command line tools for managing SQLite databases files including the command line cell program and the sqldiff.exe program so we have other additional things with this package so we are going with that just click on it to download you can see download is done quickly and I will put this package here in the separate folder now the next task is unzip this file do the right click use the unzip utility and extract this file so this way you will get a folder now we will look inside this folder again we have this folder so because we extracted with the same name and this just created another folder so first i will rename the internal folder so i am giving a very short name like sqlite 3 so this is quite easy to remember this name and when you go inside this folder you will find this three files now i will cut this and bring it to one label back so now we have the final folder which is sqlite 3 which we have renamed and placed it here now the next task is to set up the environment variable go to the search and now type environment now you can see this option edit system variable click on it then you will see the system properties box click environment variables now you are at this place click on the path variable okay now what path we need to update so go inside this sqlite folder which we have just created and here we have all those files so we will copy the path and paste it here so we are maintaining a new path entry here in this system variable save it and closed so we have done the environment variable setup successfully now it's time to verify is it working or not go to the search just type cmd okay this way we have cmd open now here we have to type simple command type sqlite 3 press enter and then you will see this message sqlite version 3.42.0 and connected to the transient in memory database that means you are connected to the database and now you are inside the sqlite shell now you can type the command dot help so you will see the list of all the available commands to interact and manage the sqlite database here in these commands you can see we have the many important commands like dot databases dot connection dot excel dot, dot schema dot output and dot quit if you want to exit from this shell you have to simply type the command dot quit quit and press enter now let me show you If you type dot quit press enter you will exit from the shell now suppose you want to create a database inside a folder so just create any folder go inside that folder go to the address bar and type cmd and the cmd will open to create the database you have to type sqlite 3 space database name dot db press enter and then you will see this message and the sqlite cell will appear but when you see inside the folder there is no database by default this database is hidden 
To unhidden this database, we need to type another command dot databases. Press enter and then you will see the database file inside the folder. Now you can interact with it, that database. Now suppose you want to create one table inside this database. Now what we need to do, we will write a query for that. So this is the query create table, table name bracket. ID is the column that I want to create which is the integer and we want to set it as a primary key. Bracket close, semicolon, press enter. And you will see that table is created. Now, if we want to check this table is created or not, or how many tables are there inside this database, we need to simply type dot tables. Press enter, you will see the results, all available table names here on the shell. Now again, if you want to see the schema of the table, so you have to specify the table name. So the command will be dot schema space table name press enter and you will see the schema of that table. And guys, there are so many commands to interact and manage the SQLite database. And this is all about the downloading and installation and creating a simple database inside the SQLite on Windows 11. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button to appreciate and please subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.